and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a haul video for you guys. It has been a hot minute since I filmed a haul video and these are my favourite videos to film and my favourite videos to watch as well. So I thought it was about time that I did a little bit of shopping, got a couple of people to do some shopping for me, basically just to acquire a little bit more makeup to my collection. So I'm going to stop rambling and jump straight into the video. I have a whole bunch of goodies that I want to share with you guys. So if you'd like to see all my new makeup goodies and then of course please keep watching. So first off, I'm going to start off with a whole bunch of Sephora stuff that I got from my dad when he recently visited Canada. We do have a Sephora here now in Australia down in the Gold Coast, but it is a little bit harder for me to get to. And considering he was going there, I knew there were going to be lots of new releases coming out that he would be able to get his hands on for me. So my dad kindly took my cousin along with him. I gave him a nice shopping list of things that I wanted if he could get them. And he picked me up a whole bunch of goodies, which I am so thankful for. And let's just get into it because there are some treats in this bag. So this is the goodie bag right here. It looks like a small bag, but this one is misleading. There are a whole bunch of treats in here. So the first thing that I see in my bag is this beauty right here. This is what I am most excited about and most excited to try. And this is the Too Faced The Power of Makeup palette by Nikki Tutorials. I was so, so excited when I knew that Nikki was collaborating with Too Faced and was going to be coming out with a palette. I knew she would do an incredible job. She is literally the definition of an artist and a creator. So this was definitely going to be on my list. So what I didn't know about this is it actually comes with extra goodies inside. So it's not just the gorgeous palette, but it comes with a full-size sketch marker eyeliner in black. It comes with a deluxe glamour dust glitter pigment in glitterly. Such a good name. And then it also comes with the deluxe shadow insurance eyeshadow primer and a little baby deluxe better than sex mascara in purple. Don't know how much use I'm getting out of a purple mascara, but I'm going to take that freebie. It just comes with the two pack packages inside. The first one comes with this little bag here and this includes all the little sample sizes that I mentioned. Then for the beautiful palette, it is such a nice little compact palette and I feel like you could take this with you traveling as well. It comes with nine eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter. I have not tried this palette so if you guys would like to see me try this palette and maybe do a tutorial using this palette, make sure to let me know down in the comments because I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. The next thing in my bag of goodies is the Clinique Chubby Lash Fattening Mascara. I'd heard a lot of good things about this. I know Lauren Curtis raves about this. So I thought I would give this one a go. It was significantly cheaper in Canada than it is in Australia. I think it was like $20 there. So that is the reason that I went for this one. I'm not normally like a high-end mascara kind of girl. I think the drugstore does really good quality mascaras. But considering the price over there, it is basically the same price as like a drugstore mascara here in Australia anyway. So I thought I would pick this one up and give it a go. The next thing here in my goodie bag is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. I basically just wanted this because I wanted to finish my collection of Shimmering Skin Perfectors. I'm a diehard for the Becca collection and I know it's super expensive and it's really ridiculous to have all of them. But I secretly wanted to do it anyway. And nevertheless, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous sort of rose gold pinky shade. If you're considering getting the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors 100% do. They are a little bit on the expensive side but the quality and the pigmentation and the glowiness of these highlighters is just insane. So you definitely should pick these ones up if you're on the fence. The next thing that I have here are the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops and I got the shade Sunlight. So these ones here are just a super pigmented, they're basically pure pigment highlighters. So they are in a liquid formula in a little dropper. The bottle is stunning. I don't even know how I'm going to really use these if I'm just going to use them on top of my cheekbones before I put down my powder highlighter or if I'll mix this in with my foundation. I think these are really multi-purpose use products but I'm gonna have to experiment with these and see what I think of them first before I go ham and just chuck them all over my face. The next thing that he got for me is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer in the shade Light. I've heard really good things about this as well. I don't really own many Tarte products other than the Tarte um, eyeshadow palette. It is very very light so I guess I'm gonna be using this as a highlighting concealer. It smells very very strongly of chemicals but I'll be interested to try this one out anyway. Now the third last thing that he got from Sephora for me is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. This was all over YouTube as well. This one here is basically pure pigment sort of glitter shadows and it comes in this incredible packaging and then you open it up and bam 
Look at the colors of these. I don't even know how I'm gonna use these. I'm a little bit scared of bright colors, but I've been meaning to do like a bright eyeshadow tutorial for you guys. So please, please do let me know down in the comments if you would like me to use this palette in a tutorial for you guys and do like a glittery look for you. I don't know what I would do with this palette, but I just wanna use it so badly. Now, last but not least are some very expensive products. And these are two of the Hourglass products. I don't actually own any other Hourglass products other than these two that my dad recently purchased for me. So I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. The packaging of these is just incredible. Very, very luxurious and high quality as well. The actual bronzer itself is so, so soft and the color looks stunning and it does have this gorgeous sheen in it. So I am so excited to try these. These would definitely be probably the most high-end products that I own. So I also got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the little trio one. So it comes with three shades in this palette, all gorgeous shades. I think you could use these just as a highlight on their own or you could use these as like a setting powder on top of your liquid foundation for that all over glow. Now the other two things that he got me are actually not from Sephora, they're drugstore products but they are so so cheap there compared to Australia. As you might know drugstore products in Australia are definitely not drugstore prices. You're looking at paying at least $15 upwards for a normal mascara. Foundations are normally $30 or more so they're very very expensive for drugstore products. So he picked me up the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm very excited to hit you this. I put off buying this product because it was so expensive in Australia, but this one was like four or six dollars Canadian, so definitely worth picking it up. He also got me the new Maybelline Master Strobing Stick, so we don't even have these in Australia yet, so they're yet to be released, but I was excited to get my hands on this, especially because it's not out yet. And now next on to my next package. So this is a huge delivery that I recently received from RY.com here in Australia. They reached out to me and offered to send me some of their products to try. This video is not sponsored and I didn't ask to be given any of these products but I'm very very excited to share them with you now. If you don't know anything about RY.com or Rye.com it is Australia's largest cosmetic website. They distribute lots of cosmetic products whether that's hair care, makeup, skin care, all throughout Australia and their shipping, may I add, was sensational. So let's just jump into this big huge box in front of me right here. So the first thing that I can see here is this thing from Gorgeous Cosmetics and this is the Endless Summer Bronzing Powder. I've never used any Gorgeous products before. It is definitely a warm bronzer which I prefer over a cool toned bronzer because I think that this is nicer for warming up the face and I'm a diehard for bronzers so this will be good to try out. The next product that really stands out to me is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Blushed Color. I think that this one is a limited edition as it's in this like metallic packaging and it is this bright copper shade. I just know that this is going to be super pigmented as are all the Becca highlighters. Oh, so beautiful. It is very, very bronzy. You definitely couldn't use this as a highlight, but probably like a bronzing topper. Very stunning. Very excited to use this as well. The next thing I see is this big gorgeous cosmetics palette. So I have no idea. It just says custom eyes. Not sure what the shades are going to be like. So as you can see, the pan size of these eyeshadows are massive. They're very, very big, so good for your money's worth, and I'm pretty sure that they are loose as well. This is a perfect mix of like cool tone colors down here, and then you've got your warm tones up here. You could definitely use like this one as a blush, and these ones as bronzers, maybe an inner corner highlight. The next thing I see in here is from Youngblood Mineral Cosmetics, and this is their mineral primer. So it sort of looks like it's gonna be like a silicon primer, so it fills in fine lines and everything. I don't really know much about Youngblood, the brand either, so I'm quite excited to use this. As I've in videos before I don't use a lot of primers so I'm not really sure how this one's gonna go but I'm all for trying new products and especially trying products that I don't know of. The next little product here is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydromat Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Aphrodite. I actually don't own any Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipsticks even though I've heard a million reviews on them. This one here is definitely like a terracotta sort of nude shade. I'm just hoping that these ones dry down completely matte because I'm not a big fan of liquid lipsticks that don't dry down to matte. The next thing I see here is another gorgeous cosmetics product and this is the Prism Powder Highlighter and it is this what looks like a honeycomb sort of highlighter. It has your darker golds here, yellow golds in, in the middle and then you've got your light sort of gold shade at the bottom. Interesting. So it is very very gold. It's definitely not champagne. I'm not sure how wearable this is going to be and I'm not sure you could just wear it on top of your cheeks. It's not going to look natural I wouldn't think. I'm not sure about this one but we'll see. The next thing that I see is this Becca Glow on the go shimmering skin perfector in opal. This looks like a little gift pack kind of thing with mini products I would assume. It comes with the little Becca shimmering skin perfector spotlight liquid illuminator 
made us. I'm hoping that this isn't like a lip gloss and that it's actually a highlighter. It doesn't really smell like anything, which I think is quite good. It is very pigmented like all Becca products, so that's quite cute. I think this would make such a good little gift set. And then it comes with the cutest little baby Becca Opal highlighter. Oh, it's so cute. I love little tiny makeup products. I think they are so, so cute. I think this is such a nice, cute little gift set for anyone that loves makeup. I would definitely recommend this one. The next thing that I see is this Youngblood Contour Kit, a contouring palette for all skin tones, it says. So I'm assuming that this is going to be good for really fair girls as well. So this is interesting. It comes with a banana shade, a very light shade for under the eyes, and another very light shade for under the eyes, I'm assuming. And then it comes with a very light brown sort of bronzing shade, a normal bronzer, and then I guess this is your contour shade. In saying that, all of these colors appear to be very, very warm, so I'm not sure how this would go as actual contour shades for creating shadow under the cheekbones. So the next one that I see is this gorgeous cosmetics blush palette. This one comes with four blush shades and then two sort of highlighting shades and two matte light shades as well. I love these blush shades. They're very, very up my alley. Now second to last is this Youngblood Mineral Cosmetics Mineral Illuminating Tint for the body. So I'm just gonna rub this in. It's a little bit pink. Doesn't smell like anything. Very pretty. It is, it's like a really nice illuminating sort of body shimmer. I think this would be so nice for like events or something, especially in summer and you want to top up your fake tan. And last but not least is this Becca Aquiluminous Perfecting Foundation in the shade Medium. I have wanted to try this foundation for so, so long, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it firstly. And I didn't really know what shade I was. It has the weirdest little lid. You open this and the little top part pops up and then you open it up and it's like a little dropper so I don't know how like effective this is gonna be I normally like just a pump but it could be interesting it's a very different concept from any other foundation that I've seen or used before I love the packaging and I'm hoping that this is all that I want it to be so that is the end of the video today guys I really hope you did enjoy it I firstly want to say thank you so much to Rye or RY for sending me out this huge bunch of goodies and makeup products I am so so lucky and I appreciate it so much I'm really looking forward to filming some first impressions for you guys some product reviews, some tutorials using these products. I'm just really excited to be sharing all these products with you to begin with. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as per usual. And if you're new to my channel or haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe down below. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.